Yo. <laughs> Motherfucking YouTube, aka Sneaker Culture, aka Mr. You See It signing in right now. What's going on with y'all? Let's talk. Let's have that conversation. A little bit more than a conversation. We'll do a mini up and coming rant. Talk about this, talk about that, talk about an honorable mention from 2016 that I didn't really get the uh, review on, or really get a fair, my own input and say, so I feel like it ain't done right, that you got the perfect spice on it. You did? Let me at them. So from 2016, when it was like the rain for Iverson, 2016 belonged to Iverson when it came to giving any NBA player, they just dudes or they props or just they, they, they final head nod into the Hall of Fame and a, you know, a full salute on like, thank you, bro. Appreciate what you did for the team, for the league, and for the culture of basketball players everywhere. You know what I'm saying? So I give you my version, what I call it, the Hennessy Reebok question. Pi Yao. Bang, you know what I'm saying? AKA, letting them at you. I'm letting them off on you right now. You know what I'm saying? I call it the Hennessy, point blank, period. Color Hennessy. But it was originally the, uh, they call these the Liberties. For whatever reason, kind of because that bronze got that bronze color, but I go stitching that forever peanut butter gum bottom. Can't go wrong with that. And that beautiful, beautiful, dark mocha hint, hazelnut, splickle splat, with a just a splash of gold dust on it. Hennessy off top. I do got the other one. I did double up on these. This is the size 11 and a half. I got a size 13. I wear a size 11 and a half, two or 13, depending on the sneaker. And this sneaker fit well. In any three sizes I wear, 11 and a half, 12, 12 and a half, 13, I can wear them all. So, yeah, grown man sizes, you dig? These shoes to me was just amazing. I wore the hell out of my 13, my size 13s, and these still on ice. I don't know when I'm going to break these off ice, though. I don't know. I mean, I got so many pairs of Iversons, man, Reebok questions, the DMX answers, the 96 uh, questions. I mean, I can go on and on about these. I don't know when I might break these off ice, man. Probably when I rip them damn size 13s in half, literally, and tear them up. But these are my favorite uh, silhouette sneaker, man, from Iverson. The Reebok uh, ever came out with, man, period. I got so many Iversons. It's ridiculous. That's why I say my sneaker collection come. Oh, it's, it's, it's going to be a great one. It's going to be a real one. I'm going to let them at you. I'm going to let them get at you. For real, for real. I'm going to unleash all the dogs off the leash. Lions, tigers, bears, wolves, hyenas, everybody coming out the gate. When I do my motherfucking collection reveal, for real, for real. That way. None of that girly, homo, suspect ass, hype be shit y'all motherfuckers be on, but... We gonna get into that. But I had to get these. They just dudes, man. They still DS. Cause look, point blank period. Still got the original factory motherfucking uh, lacing on these. I ain't even unlaced these a little bit. I ain't trying them on. I ain't got to. Y'all know my size. I know my size. Another nice hint I like is the red stitching around here on the toe box. That set these off so you can wear a red shirt with some white stitching. A baseball hat, whatever baseball team you want to choose between the red and white combo. I wouldn't do a Bulls hat with these, nah. <laughs> that is just me, nah. Nah. But uh, anything type of type of red to go with these, a little bit of red, man, it's going to bring them out. I was thinking about switching these laces out, don't go with red laces. Then I was like, nah, maybe not. Probably just keep them OG style how they is and call it a day. And that gold three on the back is beautiful. I seen a couple reviews on these and I was like, mm, that's okay, but... It's not okay with me. You dig? Until the bully put his stamp on it. Acapella bully put his stamp on them things. We ain't really had no review for real, for real. That Reebok down the middle right there. The Hexalites on the, uh, in the air pockets, man. We in there. And I still got my Hexalite hang tag, so stop playing with me, man. Stop playing with me, man. DS. 
I will never resell anything. Y'all know I don't do the resale thing. I don't deal with resellers. I don't like hype beats, so hey, it is what it is. Uh on the tongue. Also got the ghost stitching at a reebok. Pow pow shabazz. Now that's enough on these, man, because you know it's pretty straightforward, clean cut. <laughs> whistle and I'm done with these now on to the shoes need to be dropping this year from Jordan brand of course that's what I'm going with it silhouette from Jordan brand in particular the number seven the Jordan seven from last year and probably a little bit from 2016 was rumored that it was supposed to drop this red I don't know what they call it like Raging Bull or 96 Bull or Bull or whatever. It's just because it's red, black, and white. You know, the 10 colors. The 7. It's the red, black, and white 7. And when I first seen pictures of the shoe, I fell in love with that bitch. I was like, whoa. Fire. I feel like this 7, if they drop it, this red 7 for real, will be better than the Jordan 9. We like 96 11s that just dropped back in December. Like, Better than all them shits, you know what I'm saying? Because not only is my favorite color red, but simply because I like the number seven. The, the silhouette of the seven Jordan. So, I, when I seen this shoe, I was like, that bitch be fire to have. Then, right around that same time, coincidentally, when I seen that shoe, I started wanting to get into customizing. I was like... Having a lot of ideas on it, watching a lot of uh, uh, customization videos on YouTube and shit, what to have, what type of brand to go with and all that. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try that shit. So, first thing I tried my first customization on was some Ewans, because I know I do Ewans a lot. I had some old white ones. I had some white uh, some white Ewan slides I had bought early in the year, and I really wasn't wearing them that much, da 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 I tried them on that, paint went good and everything, but I was like, I needed a few more materials. Need a little bit of this, need a little bit of that from Angela's Direct, of course. That's that's the go-to best paint for painting leather sneakers. Or majority of all sneakers with leather and everything like that besides that suede stuff. That's getting into another category. But just keep it plain and simple for myself as a beginner. And I make stuff too difficult and mess nothing up real bad. I stuck with just the leather-based shoes. So since me seeing that seven... Knowing I wanted it and me just getting one to get in to customize. And I was like, you know what? That all white platinum seven wasn't out yet. And it had suede on the uh those guys suede on little hint parts of the shoe. So that wasn't gonna work. They weren't out yet. I knew they was coming out. I was like, I'm gonna cop them, then probably flip them and try to make this red seven. I was like, nah. And when I got it in hand, when it did drop, you know what I'm saying? I was like, I don't like the material, so I passed on it. Then I'm going through my, my sneakers and stuff. I knew I had some sevens, but I didn't know exactly what colorways. They was buried in the bottom. I really ain't wearing they all's DS and stuff like that. So I'm like, I really want on my sevens, seeing like which ones I had. So I'm going through them, trying to find them and stuff. Boom, boom, boom. I come across the French blue sevens. Thank you, God, for that. You know what I'm saying? The, the shoe is 95% leather minus the tongue and is majority white. It's a little bit of blue here and there on it, but it's majority a white sneaker. Easy to work with. I'm like, bet. So that's my, that was my, uh, and I wore it a few times. I think the French Blue um, 7s released either towards the end of 2014 going to 2015 or the end of 2015 going to 2016. Either way, I wore the hell out the shoe. You know what I'm saying? Numerous. I got all my wears out of it, my $190 worth. Chit chain, throw it in the bag. It's done. So I clean it up real good. You know, it went in the bag and just wipe the bottom down real good. You know, you're supposed to clean them and all that. Um, took the lacing out, hit it with the acetone, got all the, you know, any other particles. And I did step by step A through Z on tutorials I seen on how to customize your sneaker properly. And there was no sneakers in existence for the Jordan 7, that red one. And I know, I don't know when that picture was taken. How long they been rumored to drop? But when I found out last year, I was like, I'm about to tackle it and see how it come out, see what happened, da 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 So I started doing it, and I did it. I was proud of myself. I did the best replica of the picture I seen and just duped it. I 
thought I could do. And without further ado, let's get into them. I give you the first in hand look at the custom Raging Bull 7. Yes, and that was right on cue. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. Still got the white lacing in them. Still got the red paint I put on there. The black hands. And this is the exact, exact replica of the picture I had seen from online. And I don't know about you, but I think I did a hell of a job. I wore these like three or four times in the summer, even in the rain. Nothing. No paint came off. You can see the bottom. Like I said, I wore them before because this is originally the this these were originally go look at the French blue seven and then come back to this video and look at the the shoe. You can't even tell this was a, a motherfucking um Jordan uh the, the French blue. You can't even tell it came from a French blue. You know the model of it, like you know that seven is with the hints right here, you know, you know, you know, you know what a seven look like. You know what I'm saying? The twenty three on the black on the back, pardon me. I even changed that from the uh, with the red and the black on there, and just amazing. You know what I'm saying I left the white. These are original white laces from the uh, from the French blue sevens. So got the silver uh, aglet. You know this is an aglet, right? For y'all who might not know, it's an aglet on the toe, and it's not a um, lace tip. That's that's just a, a dumbed down word. It's really called an aglet. They still silver aglet on there, and uh, they you know what I'm saying still laced up. I wore them a lot. I see the bottom dirty. Where the hell out these motherfuckers? I, when I was stepping out, I think the last time I wore these, when I had put them back in the box, the original box, right here by me and all that, but the original French Blue uh, 7 box, when I wore these, the last night I wore these, I think it was raining, and I think I stepped in some damn mud or something, and I just never wiped them off. I was just, you know, it was one of them nights. I was just, you know, lit, turned up, and I was like, fuck it. I'll wipe it off in the morning, which I did, but yeah, the bottom... Yeah, you know I wore these motherfuckers. And uh the the, the jump man, the white, the tongue, you know, if you go back and look at the uh the French blue sevens, this tongue is like white and blue, I believe, like dark hints of blue up here. But I jetted it out all black. I did line for line on that picture that I seen. You know what I'm saying? This the uh the right shoe. So I mean, I think I did a hell of a job. So technically you can say if these do drop in this exact same colorway, this red seven, I had it first, motherfucker. <laughs> I had them first, nigga. Yeah, that way. On the customization side, and this the uh, the left one. You know what I'm saying? Same thing. Same uh bottom, bit ashy, bit dirty or whatever. Actually, this side this ain't that bad. <laughs> the left side ain't that bad as the right side, but yeah, yeah, that way. And you know what? This is another thing I did with the finishers. I didn't put no finisher on this one. And see the back of my, uh, I switched to uh, the red and the black. You see how the, uh, the two on on the, on this one is red. And then on, oh no, the both two is red. But you see it got the three at the top is black. And then over there the three on the bottom is black. So yeah, I wanted to, uh, you know, switch them up like that. So when you see. The ass on the back of them things, as my boy Mike Rich might say. Uh, yeah, you know, it's a little bit different on each cheek while you walking and shit. Niggas is looking like, damn, damn. And I got mad stupid compliments on these. It was like, when the hell them sevens come out? When the hell them sevens come out? Boy, I made these. You know what I'm saying? I made these from scratch. Shout out to Angela's Paint. You know what I'm saying? Hand brush. No airbrush by hand. Doing raw dog on these hoes, you know what I'm saying? And now uh, while I was getting to back to the finishing, I hit this one with the uh, with the matte finisher, and I didn't put no no finisher ceiling on this one at all. I just left it raw dog. That's just a straight raw paint. That's why this one might look a little shinier, and this one you know more dogs. I wanted to keep the two um, you know the two differences. I think this one looked more more raw than this one with a little shimmer on it, a little shine. I was like fuck it, we shining. And we keeping it humble on this side, and it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm letting them get at you. Raging Bull 7s, customs, first ones in hand. From a French blue to the realest shoe between me and you. Bars! Come on, man. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. But these joints fire. If Joint Brand do decide to drop these this year, hopefully I will be tripling up.
oh yeah, tripling up. Not only because I do like the Jordan 7, but you can't go wrong with this red and this white combination and this black. I mean, it's just, it's, it's beautiful. Part of the dirtiness, but I mean, like I said, I wear my shoes. I rock the hell out of them. You know what I'm saying? And it is, is what it is. It is what it is. And I'm surprised that on the bottom part, though, I did have doubts. I thought, um, I did have doubts. I thought the paint was going to fall to shit because I've been in the water and just the concrete and, you know, walking and stuff. You know, I'm a big dude, you know what I'm saying? But the paint stayed on there miraculously. You know what I'm saying? It could be used a couple of touch-ups, but that's just, I mean, that's the bottom of the shoe. You're walking on concrete, the bottom is never going to stay solid 100% like you just took it out the box and let you go with soft protector you know what I'm saying so it is what it is I don't even trim about the bottom but the sides the front the top the tongue my jump my white jump man's on there I mean flawless flawless victory for real for real like that way and that's the Raging Bull 7's I mean Raging Bull 7 customs however you want to call it I did it you know what I'm saying? I'm proud of myself. One of the best customs I did. Um, but this year, I am getting me a damn um, airbrush gun because that shit took some hours. I ain't going to lie. I had so much tape everywhere and being having a steady hand. And I'm not no artist, point blank, period, by far. So my hand not shaky. I ain't got arthritis yet, thank God. But, you know, I'm not the best with a paintbrush. Like I said, I'm still, you know, we would call that a greenhorn new booty uh rookie at this uh customized customizing stuff so i mean it's just a part of the sneaker culture you know what i'm saying just just what we do you can do it if you want to just make sure you follow the right steps and you know the right people and get the right you know video on it so once you get that you get the right tools you, you know i mean logically you know watching it you get the right tools and get the right information and stuff and get the right instructions then you go buy whatever you're going to buy from AngelsDirect.com and just have at it, man. Get you a shoe that's going to be your test dummy and go for it. Because like you say, practice make perfect. Um, now, will I be doing a lot more customs like that? Hell yeah. Will I be putting it on my channel? Hell yeah. In the future, you know what I'm saying? But after I get my airbrush gun, because just to, like, really... I know I got a, like I said, my favorite color is red, and I got a lot of shoes that I do want a solid color, and having an airbrush gun and cut the time I would spend painting by hand in half, you know what I'm saying? So, once I do that, they can just tape off the bottom, you know, areas of the shoe I don't want, and all that I want the uh, color on, straight, real quick, real quick, especially when I'm working with one color and airbrushing and just putting the paint in it. And just keeping that one color solid through the paint gun, cutting time in super half. Probably take an hour job or two hour job, cut it down to either one hour if it's two hours, or maybe down to freaking 30 minutes if it's an hour, or maybe 25 minutes if it will probably normally take you an hour to do it. But that's my custom look on the Raging Bull or whatever, 7, Red 7. And then my, my little quick rant slash uh, update on my review of my Hennessy Reebok question from Iverson. Salute to the GOAT. And now that's it, man. So wrap. The video's in the bag. Remember to like, subscribe, and of course comment to your boy, man. Share the video. Laugh. Have fun. You know what I'm saying? Do what you do. And win some. Because this is a cappella bully, baby. The sneaky culture. So I'm here for it. And remember... You see it. You saw it. You was a witness to greatness right now. You did. And remember, when I do my unboxings, I'm letting them get at you. Yeah.